Well, tonight, the Beltrami County Historical Society celebrated five key people who are part of the year-long Beltrami County sesquicentennial celebration. Our Josh Peterson was there as they walked the cemetery. In a place that lays silent, voices of the past can be heard. That Chief Bemidji was buried on the courthouse lawn. All found in a place where everyone has a story. The Beltrami County Historical Society provided a tour through Bemidji's Greenwood Cemetery, sharing not only the history, but personal stories of those who were key players in Beltrami County's history. Spinning it as the Beltrami County Sesquicentennial Edition, because this is the 150th anniversary of the formation uh, of Beltrami County. These cemetery walks are a blast from the past, featuring notables from northern Minnesota's history. But when it comes to selecting just five to showcase, it can be a challenge. We have files on various people uh, from past cemetery walks or from past events. Uh, other information came from obituaries uh, or findagrave.com. Members of the Historical Society read or even portrayed some of these key county people ranging from the county coroner to the county public health nurse. So the criteria this year, we're trying to tie into that sesquicentennial thing. So it's uh, people who are work, worked for county government uh, or else had a, made, a, made a major mark on development of the county. For those who take part in the cemetery walk, the hope is that they walk away with a newfound education for the people that made Beltrami County what it is. Take a look at through the graves, you see some people that you may not have expected to see. Mm -hmm. And it, the more you learn about the history of Bemidji, it's, it's quite fascinating. For the Historical Society, more cemetery walks could be in the future, depending on the demand. All located in a place where everyone has a story. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. For more information on upcoming cemetery walks or other events, you can just go to their website at BeltramiHistory.org. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.